Hello Assassins, Gargudan here, the English voice narrator for the Assassin's Creed Universe channel. Today, we are going to be talking about Assassin's Creed Origins. So, as you probably all know, Assassin's Creed Origins has finally been officially announced. And with the announcement, we were able to discover how the Black Flag team, Ubisoft Montreal, reinvented the franchise in terms of gameplay, but one aspect of the game that remains pretty unknown is the story. So for this video, we tried to collect all the information we have on the story of Origins and from that we will speculate on what could eventually happen. So, first we know that the game will be set in 49 before the birth of Jesus, and will tell us how the Brotherhood was created. Was it just someone decided, I'm gonna put on a hood? No, no, there, there's stories behind all of this, and these are the experiences that you explore in the game. Uh, so for sure, Eagle Vision is, is one more of those elements where, why is it called Eagle Vision and where did it really come from? According to the developers, we are likely to discover where Eagle Vision comes from. We already know that Eagle Vision is a special sense that all humans possess, but not everyone can use it. So maybe Bayek, the main protagonist and apparently founder of the Brotherhood, will be the first one to actually use Eagle Vision. It's almost 100% sure to say that the explanation behind the origins of Eagle Vision will have something to do with Senu, Bayek's loyal eagle. And we assume that the developers will play the mystical aspect of ancient Egypt to talk about the origins of the scent. But as interesting as maybe, we just hope that the explanation behind Eagle Vision won't contradict what we've seen in the series so far. Every man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. In addition to Eagle Vision, we will discover where the hidden blade comes from, as well as why assassins wear hoods. We might as well discover what are the origins of the assassin logo along with the Creed's maxim, nothing is true, everything is permitted. Simply put, we are likely to discover the reason why assassins are what they are in Assassin's Creed 1 and all the other entries of the franchise. So, Bayek, which actually means Falcon, is the main protagonist of the game. According to Ubisoft, there will be other playable characters, but we will have to wait for more information on that. So, Bayek comes from Saiwa. In his hometown, he is viewed as a local hero because he is the last of the Medjay an old Nubian Egyptian order which at the time had become obsolete under the rule of the Greek Ptolemies. Medjay are some kind of police, they are protectors of areas of pharaonic interest. So, according to Ashraf Ismail, game director on Assassin's Creed Origins, something happened in his village and he's trying to unravel a mystery. But what could have happened? A tragic event? A supernatural event caused by Peas of Eden? Who knows? All that we know is that to unravel this mystery, we will have to leave Saiwa and we'll have to travel around Egypt a country that he doesn't know and will discover as the player. And while Bayek is the respected protector of his community, while he travels around Egypt, he is viewed as an inconvenient relic by those in power. This has nothing to do with you, Saheti. Crawl back into your desert hole! On his journey, he will likely discover that Egypt is being corrupted by a secret faction, pulling the strings in the shadows as he will hunt each and every member of this faction. He will realize how big and dangerous they are and eventually create an order to resist the assassins. So our guess is that towards the end of the game, Bayek will start recruiting people into his new order. One of them could actually be Aminet, the assassin we saw in the sanctuary of Monteregioni in Assassin's Creed 2. She is likely to play a big role in Origin's story as if she is the one who killed Cleopatra, but we'll get back to that later. But maybe Aminet will be the other playable character in the game, who knows? As we just said, the game takes place 49 years before the birth of Jesus. At that time, there's already been 3,000 years of Egyptian history that happened already and all the major landmarks are there. There's a pivotal moment of history as it marks the end of an ancient tradition, which is represented by Bayek, who's the last of the Magi and the beginning of a new world, likely represented by the Templars. It is a pivotal moment in history, fitting around Cleopatra's ascension to the throne, supposedly supported by Caesar and the Templars. And it has been confirmed that Cleopatra will be in the game, but we don't know if that's the case for Caesar. All we know is that he died in a 44 years before the birth of Jesus. Some members of the Brotherhood had plotted against him. As for Cleopatra, as we said earlier, she died 30 years before the birth of Jesus in her palace, killed by Aminet, who used a venomous asp. We don't know yet if this event will be in the game, but that would be really cool, especially since it would link Origins to Assassin's Creed 2. So yeah, Assassin's Creed Origins will be the story of an old civilization witnessing a major historical change. We can imagine that this will be one of Bayek's strokes, seeing his old civilization disappear 
and being forced to accept that change. And because this major historical change might have been initiated by the Templar, Bayek will create the assassins to resist and leave the order as a legacy of his civilization. If that's the case, Assassin's Creed Origins will cover some really interesting topics and we hope that the ending will be as bittersweet as satisfying just like in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Anyway, that's pretty much all we have on the game. We hope you enjoyed the video and that you are as excited as us to play Assassin's Creed Origins when it comes out on October 27th.